What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and this is the Pro Audio Release Roundup for September 2023. If it's your first time here, this is a series that I do at the end of each month where I go over Pro Audio releases for the month that I feel are significant. If there's any that you feel that I missed, feel free to drop a comment and let me know. So this month we have a ton of new products. We've got so many that I got the iPad with me just to make sure I don't miss anything. And maybe everyone's getting ready for AES, I'm assuming, because definitely had a lot of new products that I wasn't expecting to see released this month. Uh, we'll get right into this, starting with the Sonable Peer EQ. So Sonable is expanding their Peer Bundle, which is their bundle of very easy to use AI powered plugins uh, that are made for content creators, but I definitely see them uh, being used by engineers, producers as well. I use a lot of Sonable uh, plugins when I'm uh, editing my podcast, the Faders Up podcast, and I'm going to definitely be using Peer EQ as I used it on uh, the last episode uh, that we released. But Peer EQ, AI power, just like the rest of the Sonable plugins, but this gives you a quick EQ curve of what you can, uh, you can set to... Uh, bright, warm, and I think neutral is the three settings. And take that sound profile, put in the target of what you're EQing, and then let it learn it. And then from there, you can increase the strength of the curve, making the curve bigger for more or less of the EQ effect. But a uh, really effective EQ and very easy to use, especially if you don't understand EQ. Uh, Isotope has announced Ozone 11 and Nectar 4. I didn't really look too much in Ozone 7. I mean, I have Ozone because I have a Isotope bundle that it came with, but I don't really use it. Uh, more exciting to me is Nectar 4, which features it or features a new feature uh, that is going to allow you to create uh, background vocals from different styles of, I guess, like artists. It's like eight different ones, almost like eight different people, different types of people, different types of uh artists allowing you to create a background vocal for it definitely look forward to seeing more about how that works because that just sounds like a crazy feature for you know for example male female uh, that you can go through there well there's also a new feature in nectar 4 allowing you to uh, import a reference vocal and the ai will try to uh, tone match it for you and that looks really interesting uh, presonus has announced Studio One 6.5, which of course everyone knows now has uh, added Dolby Atmos, which answers a lot of prayers for a lot of Studio One users. Everybody's been wanting uh, Atmos to come to Studio One and now they have it. Uh, along with that, they also announced or uh, kind of revamped their whole uh, Aris monitor line into uh, three different lines now. And I think the lowest tier is essential if I'm not mistaken. And then you have Aris Studio, and then you have Aris Pro. Really not a fan of, I'm not a fan of that, just because the Aris line, to me, was more known with uh, budget, more affordable uh, monitors, and now you're throwing a Pro line into that. I wouldn't want Aris to be associated with a, with a Pro End uh, product, but the Pro End ones are coaxial, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on them and checking them out because I'm interested in them. Uh, but I'm curious if they will replace the Scepter S6s. Uh, I still have my Presonus Scepter S6s and uh, love them. I'm just keeping them as a backup pair of monitors just in case my bare foots go down. But, you know, I don't agree with that. I would have left the Aris line for, you know, maybe the Essential and was it Studio, but then for the Pro line, give it a, give it a different name. But curious to see if it does replace uh, the Scepters. Uh, speaking or keeping with monitors, uh, Focal has announced uh, the Focal Trio 6, uh, which is their new monitors. I uh, haven't looked too much into them, uh, but I'm a fan of Focal monitors, so there's no question that I'm sure those are great. Rupert Neve Designs announced the MBT. This is the Master Bus Transformer. So we now have the uh, Master Bus Processor, Master Bus, uh, what am I missing? Master Bus Processor. Master Bus, I'm drawing a blank. There's, I know there's another Master Bus, um, oh, Compressor, Master Bus Compressor. And now we have Master Bus Transformer. This seems to be Rupert Neve Design's answer to the SSL Fusion. But in saying that, <laughs> this is a $4,000 unit. 
Uh, the SSL Fusion is on sale for $2,200 right now, almost half the price of this. But the Master Bus Transformer is, of course, going to allow you red and blue silk that the Neve Designs gear is famous for. Uh, there's also a compressor on there. I, be I believe there's a little bit of EQ on there as well. Uh, but another Master Bus, I don't call it pro almost called a processor, but another Master Bus unit from Rupert Neve Designs, but I was not expecting that price tag of $4,000. Uh, Pro Tools in the news, 2023.9 Pro Tools has been announced, which adds a sketch feature, which looks very similar to Ableton Live, where you can launch clips in Pro Tools now. Uh, Pro Tools was recently sold, and I forget the name of the company that purchased them, but they seem to be making moves and changes really quickly because one of the biggest things uh, with Pro Tools 2023.9, at least in my opinion, is not features that were added with Pro Tools, but it's how you can acquire Pro Tools. They have brought back Perpetual License. This is huge in my opinion because I let my Pro Tools lapse. Well, I never had the subscription, so I shouldn't say lapse, but I just never upgraded it after, I don't, I, I forget what Pro Tools version I have, but um, as y'all know, or if you follow the channel, as you know, you know I've been a Studio One user for the past 10 or so years and I've just over the years I just haven't needed Pro Tools at all. I have thought about picking it up just for the YouTube channel staying uh, up to date with it but me paying a subscription service for a DAW that I wasn't going to use I just couldn't justify it. Now you can pay $199 and you know depending on when Whatever version you had previously, if you didn't go to the subscription service, uh, you can pay $199 for a perpetual license and get back into Pro Tools. So I'm thinking about doing that because, you know, $199 now and, you know, I don't have to update it for another two, three, four, five years whenever I feel like it. I'd rather do that than, of course, pay for a subscription service and I'm paying for it every year. So really huge, huge deal that they brought back perpetual license. Uh, SoftTube Console 1 Mark III has been announced. It's $899, but this is a slick looking controller. Uh, I don't even see uh, Mach 2 on the site anymore. So, and they've been on the Mach 2 has been on sale for, I think, 400 something or 300 something. And so it seems like they've been blowing those out. And now we know why. With Mach 3 being announced, I wasn't expecting it to be $899. But this adds some new features. It adds a new uh, tape feature and also adds uh, some uh, LED screens on it as well. It also seems to be bigger, a little different uh, or much different form factor than the previous console ones. Uh, this one definitely looks like it's taking up more space. All right, last product is uh, the Shure SM7DB. <laughs> Clever name here, but you know we all know the SM7B. A lot of people like that mic for podcasting and broadcasting, but there's always been a con with it, and that's you had to have a cloud lifter for it. But now with this new version of the SM7DB, there is now a inline preamp built into the microphone. Basically a cloud lifter now built into the SM7B. Now the price is $100 more, SM7B is $399, the SM7DB is $499. Uh, what makes sense, because a cloud lifter is $149 and then $399, it's gonna be cheaper to just get the new version of the SM7B. But I mean, you just, you had to have a cloud lifter with an SM7B and so much so that dealers just start selling it as a bundle, buy a SM7B and bundle it with uh, the cloud lifter. But I like the play on the name with DB here and actually found out that cloud mics license the technology uh, for the inline preamp in the SM, the Shure SM7DB. Now, uh, they're not saying that it is a cloud lifter, but it's definitely cloud technology. Uh, so I guess from what I'm understanding, uh, cloud mics licensed how they or what they you know they're how they built the cloud lifter and allowed sure to use that information maybe you know schematics or whatever and built that into theirs uh, so really interesting uh, but <laughs> long overdue uh, for that product uh, but if you're in the market for SM7B, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of used ones hit the market now that we have a new version of the SM7B out. 
All right, so there's a list of all the, the new Pro Audio products for September 2023 that I feel were significant. We're going to see if next month will be another big month with AES happening. I'm sure we'll see you know some new products released there as well. But definitely comment and let me know what y'all think of these products that I went over in this video. We'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if y'all want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.